Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring SickFits. Salutations, you little punks. Welcome back to another action-packed episode of Fits of Sickness, a rating subscribers outfit video where we separate the drip kings from the swagglers homies. In the last sick fits, I said, oh, let's do puffer jackets. But since the weather in the UK has transitioned from Winterfell snowstorms to spring summer 21 pretty much overnight, it felt a little late to focus on heavy down jackets. But don't you worry, I haven't fully backpedaled on today's theme. We're still doing jackets, just not exclusive down jackets and bonus mentions today maybe also stick around to the end of the video for next month's theme and for crucial information on how you yes you can submit into the next episode of sick fits so without further ado sick fits how to style jackets thrifted pract studio jacket white tank top custom Levi reconstructed jeans and Zara boots. When the G-Wagon breaks down on the way to fashion week, this is the guy you call to fix the flat tire. So right off the bat, just by looking at the photo, the low neckline in the tank top, the reconstructed jeans and the boots just give this fashionification of a mechanic. Like if Michelin tires needed a runway poster boy, this would be it. For me, the outfit has a lot of notes that just hit. The hair with the glasses, the tank top jacket combo, the detail in the jeans and its combo with the boots, and just the outfit as a whole, to be honest. I like how the jacket sits at the right level of baggy. It's not too chunky that it consumes the entire outfit, but the jeans I like for a couple of reasons. They play into the outfit's theme. They look a little thrash with the raw denim on show. And I am really surprised with these Zara boots. Normally, I'm really picky when it comes to boots, but from what I can see, these boots really tie the outfit together and just set the mood. Thrifted Levi denim jacket, thrifted Rolling Thunder t-shirt, H&M belt, thrifted Levi jeans and the ASOS harness boots. Do you know how hard it is to pull off the Canadian tuxedo? Like, just ask Justin Timberlake and Britney. As outlandish as double denim may be, I think this outfit makes it work just by being so clean. The jacket and jeans both look very regular fit that makes this balancing act work so nicely. I think the way to think about it is to treat the jacket and jeans as if they were one piece. Keep the shape and size of both pieces relatively the same just to make it look natural. And there's also a little bit of raw denim on the bottom of the jeans so that's just a little nice detail to notice. The t-shirt is deceptively utilized, like the front of the t-shirt, plain, keeping in theme with the clean aesthetic. But when you take off the jacket, the whole outfit is quick changed from double denim to clean biker dad. The harness boots from ASOS also tie the fit together pretty well in a way that adds to the clean aesthetic and in theme with a the biker look. Military surplus cap, Vivian Westwood necklace, the North Face 700 puffer jacket, undercover t-shirt, final home canvas belt, and Kiko Kostavinov A6. Truly, this is a fit of sickness, but the scene looks straight out of a Teletubbies episode, like the sun baby is gonna come out of the hills and rape the fit for me. If I've learned anything in all of my years of baggy boys for life, it's that sometimes you have to distribute the baggy in a way that suits the outfit, which I think has been really well done here. The puffer jacket is a really nice size. It sits just below the belt with a t-shirt that sits just above. It's a clean dynamic that can be built on with accessories, the hat, the necklaces, the belt if you've got a decent one to show off. The trousers have a cargo feel to them but <laughs> don't be fooled. These are hiking trousers big man. The silhouette is different where cargos would have blown this outfit out. These hiking trousers take the bagginess and funnel them into a shape that complements the outfit as a whole. Sakai trench coat, Fred Perry tartan cutout sweater, Uniqlo turtleneck, retro flared jeans, and Cuban heeled boots. Tell me this outfit doesn't look like the star of a 70s police drama. So this is an interesting outfit. It's got that British 70s vibe, which really isn't represented when we talk about the 70s trend, but here it is. The trench coat makes this outfit stand out for me, not just because of the navy black split, it also stands out because trench coats are quite tricky to style, but if you can pull it off, it adds length and flows quite nicely. The turtleneck tucked into the jeans just adds to the 70s drip and further adds to the flow, and the flared jeans rounded off into the Cuban boots also hit something chronic, I'm telling you. This is one of the most unique outfits of the day and one that isn't so easily replicated. Alix bomber jacket, helmet lang cargos, 
ambush converses and weekday glasses. So from the rundown, the outfit is full of fashion designers that are all if you know you know. The bomber jacket looks so nice. I don't know how I feel about it being zipped up. Like what t-shirt are you rocking bro? Stop hiding secrets from me. But it's the combination of the helmet land cargoes and the converses that really steal the show for me. The stark contrast of the jacket and cargoes is really in your face but I think it still works. I can imagine this outfit being in like everyday drip like you can just throw on these clothes not put too much thought into it and just roll out the door ready to go Stoozy bucket hat heron preston jacket heron preston t-shirt vintage painter levi 501s and the ss14 rick owen ramones bro i have not seen heron preston in years this is that updated 2016 streetwear look and I don't hate it. But I do feel like this outfit could have been two different looks. The jacket is a heavy presence on the outfit as a whole. And although it doesn't look completely out of place, it does stand out as a main piece. It might have benefited by being styled in darker colors. But then again, it doesn't look completely mismatched with the jeans, like it's a weird one. I like the combo of the t-shirt and the jacket, but my favorite part of the outfit is the jeans and the Rick Owens. I think there's some real potential there for a spring summer outfit with lighter tones on the top half of the fit. Vintage Carhartt jacket, Amy Leon Dore hoodie, Levi 550 jeans, and the off-white Nike Dunk lows. I honestly feel that Carhartt workwear jackets are everywhere now, but put down the pitchforks, you little punks. I'm not bad mouthing it. It's just an observation, and I'm a little salty that I don't actually own one. Oops. I think Carhartt jackets have become an essential piece in vintage streetwear like over the past year But it is easy to see why like just throw in a hoodie and some jeans or cargoes Wherever your fashion affiliation and round it off with some Jordans dunks or boots This outfit has that everyday street style, which I quite like I mean, I think this jacket is universally known within the fashion community that can be appreciated on every level The pieces look quite fitted. There's a good length to them and it's styled in a way that's Art kid, workwear wholesome, I don't know. Martine Rose Fleece, Stoozy Pants, and the Human Made Superstars. The Martine Rose Fleece is a standout piece for me here. Normally when it comes to fleece jackets, all I've ever known is market stall wolf jackets or block color Patagonia. So this is refreshing to see. The Stoozy trousers and superstars matchy match quite nicely. And all in all, I quite like the color scheme here. The fleece looks like it's just absorbed all of the color from the rest of the outfit. But I mean, it's still hits with a little bit of beige in the fleece so you can see the color association in the trousers and shoes in the fleece too. Tell me if I'm deep in it too much. Hat from Brixton, thrifted surplus best, thrifted OG 107 jacket, thrifted Nova cargoes and surplus Gat sneakers. When the line at Goodwill is too long, so you just go to the military surplus store instead. Normally, I'm not really into these one color tonal outfits, but there's just something that works really well with all these different shades of green. I think what it is, it's the military vibe that makes the whole thing work. The outfit has a subtle hit of the 70s trend with the combination of the hat and hair, and layering the jacket with the vest was a little risky, but I think it paid off. What turns this outfit from good to great is the use of the mask, the t-shirt, and the shoes. These pieces is all break up the outfit. On the surface, all you see is green, but then your eyes start to notice what breaks the pieces up. The white t-shirt giving some relief from the jacket's imposing greenness. And the shoes not only turn this outfit from uniform to wearable casual, they also round off the sharp edges of the fit. And now it's time for bonus mentions. First up, we have a really interesting take on the vintage utility vibe. Effortlessly executed drip. Wholesome, but make it fashion. The twin drip is unrivaled, big man. A very interesting take on vintage Americana. Good morning, team. Let's get this bread. Another banger from a sick fits veteran. A very interesting take on the military trend. Just another fit of sickness. And the confidence in this outfit is unmatched. Bonus mentions rabbit hole london pause hoodie archive yoji yamamoto puffer jacket archive yoji yamamoto pants and the rick owen ramones so here we have a mix of archive designer but make it streetwear the puffer jacket hoodie combination will always be a staple look and especially when it's all black it just hits the archive puffer is a good length shape and puffiness that sits slightly above the hoodie the archive trousers fall nicely into the ramones on the surface it's a clean neat outfit but if you know your archive then you can appreciate this on a whole nother level 
Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring SickFits. Do you wish somebody would share their years of knowledge and wisdom in an easy to follow course in the comfort of your own home? Then check out Skillshare, you little punk. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes that will satisfy the curious hunger of any creative person. Skillshare is for everyone. What do you wanna learn? Botanical illustration, we got it. Logo design, completed it, mate. Fundamentals of DSLR photography, now we're talking. And if you want even more topics, then Skillshare has courses for marketing, animation, productivity, lifestyle, and pretty much everything else in between. But Kenneth Kayo, what have you been learning on Skillshare recently? I've been heavily invested in Thomas Frank's productivity for creatives, build a system that brings out your best. Skillshare are always launching new and exciting courses, so there's always something to come back to. I'll tell you what, bro. I don't do this often, but the first 1,000 people to use my sign up link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And after that, membership is less than £10 a month with an annual subscription. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Sick fits, how to style jackets. I'd like to thank everyone for submitting into Sick Fits and just keeping the inbox nice and full. Sound off in the comments which one of these outfits did you like the most. I know that they would appreciate it, I would appreciate it, and the algorithm would appreciate it. Okay, done. What's the next theme for Sick Fits? Uh, how to style Fortnite season six. Next month, I just wanna see your spring summer outfits. The sun's out, take full advantage of it. Just show me the fits of sickness. And if you're new here and you wanna know how to submit into Sick Fits, all you've got to do is send an email to sickfits at outlook.com in the title of your email. Just give me your Instagram handle, attach a photo and leave me some details of your outfit just so I know what I am looking at. If you enjoyed the video, then consider pressing that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel because you're an absolute legend. Check that notification bell so I can tell you when your dinner's ready. That is everything. Thank you for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bro, he didn't do down jackets because he's down bad.